From a veggie frittata to a classic breakfast casserole to a copycat favorite, these Instant Pot egg recipes are sure to become staples at your breakfast table. Hi Mindful Moms and Dads, Kristen here. As someone who suffers from a chronic disease, I believe homemade is best but it doesn't need to be complicated. When it comes to eggs, we all know that Instant Pot makes perfect hard-boiled eggs, but it also makes delicious, creamy, fluffy, baked eggs. So let's put on our kitchen capes and make some breakfast. I am famous for my hash brown breakfast casserole. I've scaled down my classic recipe to fit inside the Instant Pot, and it's perfect for any day of the week. I'm using a seven by three inch oven safe pan here, and I'm gonna spray it with some cooking spray. You can use a six by four inch pan as well, just you're going to need to increase the cook time by five minutes. I'm gonna add in about two cups of defrosted hash browns here. Pro tip, if you want a really decadent breakfast, use frozen tater top. For this breakfast casserole, I'm using a half a pound of brown sausage that I've actually browned up using the saute function in my Instant Pot. And then for our eggs, I'm gonna mix together six eggs with a half a cup of milk, any variety, cream will also work, salt and pepper, and whisk well. I'm gonna pour that egg mixture over my sausage and hash browns. Don't worry if it doesn't fully cover it, the eggs will fluff up as they cook. And then I'm gonna sprinkle with some cheese. Cover with foil, add in one and a half cups of cold water inside your inner pot, and then add the rack to your Instant Pot. And now place our casserole into the Instant Pot. Pop your lid on your Instant Pot. Be sure your vent knob is pointed towards sealed, not venting. And then we're gonna cook our breakfast casserole for 20 minutes on high pressure. If you're using a six inch pan or frozen tater tots, cook for 25 minutes on high pressure. Once cook time has elapsed, it's best to let pressure release naturally for at least five minutes or up to 10 minutes. That way your eggs stay super fluffy and creamy. We're gonna open up our inner pot, remove our casserole, and at this point, if you'd like, you can remove the foil and pop under the broiler for three to five minutes just to let the cheese get nice and caramelized and then slice up and serve. Easy peasy. Next up is a copycat of Starbucks egg bite recipe. If you've had them, you know how good they are. They're light, they're fluffy, they're creamy, and they're filled with a variety of delicious flavors. Today I'm making bacon and Swiss because who doesn't love bacon? Now to make egg bites, you need these silicone egg bite molds. I will link to my favorite brand in the description below. And you can make one batch or you can have two egg bite pans and make a double batch as they stack together in the Instant Pot. To bake our bacon, you wanna bake it on a cooking rack over a sheet pan that's been lined with foil. And you need two slices for every one batch of egg bites. Chop up that bacon finely and then evenly divide that bacon in between the egg molds. For our egg mixture, I'm actually gonna prepare the batter in a blender as it gets super creamy, and that's kind of key to the texture of these egg bites. I'm popping in four eggs for one batch of egg bites, a dash of salt and pepper, a third of a cup of cottage cheese, that's a secret to super creamy and luscious egg bites, and a fourth a cup of shredded Swiss cheese. Pop the lid on my blender, and then I'm gonna blend that until it's nice and combined. And then we're gonna pour the egg batter into the egg molds, dividing the mixture evenly. Each egg mold should be about three-fourths of the way full. And then cover with foil. Pour in one and a half cups of water inside your Instant Pot, regardless of the size of your Instant Pot you're using. And then place in your inner rack. Pop your egg bites inside your Instant Pot. Pop your lid on your Instant Pot. Be sure your vent knob's pointed towards closed. And then to set cook time, we're gonna cook for nine minutes on high pressure. Once the cook time has elapsed, let pressure release naturally for 10 minutes. That is super key to keeping these egg bites light and fluffy. And then open up your inner pot, remove your egg bites from the inner pot, remove your foil, and then you're going to invert your egg bites onto a plate. No need to run to Starbucks to get yourself some egg bites. Next up is an Instant Pot spinach frittata. And let me tell you, the secret to the fluffiest frittata you have ever had is to make it in the Instant Pot. It almost turns out like an egg souffle. It's just perfection. To start this frittata, we're gonna start with six eggs that we're gonna crack into a large mixing bowl. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of cream or milk, whatever you like. Add in a pinch of salt, freshly cracked black pepper, and a little bit of grated fresh nutmeg. 
We're gonna whisk that until it's well incorporated. And just like the egg bites and the breakfast casserole, you can add in any fillings you like. Today I'm using my favorite. I'm using a third of a cup of feta cheese, a fourth a cup of chopped green onion, and a third of a cup of defrosted and drained spinach. For the pan, you wanna use a seven by three inch pan. You can use a six by four inch pan. Just keep in mind, you'll need to add five minutes to your total cook time. We wanna spray this with cooking spray as well. Pour your egg mixture into your pan and cover with foil. For this recipe, pour in two cups of cold water inside your inner pot. Pop your rack inside your inner pot and then place your pan on top of the rack. Pop your lid on your instant pot. We're gonna set to cook on high pressure for six minutes. Once the cook time has elapsed, let pressure release naturally for at least 10 minutes. Super important to keep your frittata super light and fluffy. Then open up your inner pot. Carefully remove your pan, slice up and serve with a little bit of hot sauce if desired. There you have it, three easy, delicious, perfectly baked egg recipes that are great for breakfast. But if you're not in the mood for eggs, be sure to catch my next video where I walk you through how to make perfectly creamy steel cut oats. It's another favorite. I'll see you there.